Hey, my beautiful two chicks fam. It is me, Carl, and I am back with a background friendly. So if you have pets, children, you guys can apply for this job and it is a work when you want no interview. Make sure you smash that red subscribe button, turn on that bell notification, like and share the video, ladies and gentlemen. On this channel, not only do we bring you guys those good old work from home jobs, side gigs, and side hustles, but we also give away laptop computers on this channel absolutely free. The only thing you guys have to do is take my video Guys, go post it everywhere. Share, share, share. Because the next laptop winner will be once we reach 110,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to participate, go post the video on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit. There are so many social media platforms out there. But if you are not a part of any of them, take the information, go share it with a friend, family member, go into Walmart, Kroger, Food Lion, Publix, ask the cashiers, do they want to work from home? And I'm pretty sure somebody in there is going to say yes and then point them in the direction of the Two Chicks with the Side Hustle YouTube channel. But don't forget to come on back. Make sure you guys leave us a comment down below. Now, we did a live stream last night. We also did two live streams Saturday. Tan did one on overnight work from home jobs and I did a live stream Saturday night on non-phone side hustles that you guys can get started with today. Make sure you guys go back, check out the video. And we also talked about those felony friendly companies. So if you know someone that is looking for a job, maybe they have issues with their background, share the live stream with that friend or family member. But don't forget to come on back. Make sure you guys leave us a comment down below. Also, guys, don't forget about the Side Hustle Survey sites. The king of branded surveys, he's getting $300 plus a week. If you want to know how he's doing it, go back, watch the replays, or you can join us on the next live stream. The queen makes close to $400 a month off of branded surveys. Do you not know what that can pay? That can pay a car note. That can pay some, maybe help paying some rent. Not saying it's going to pay all of your rent, but hey, it can put a little bit of money in your pockets. Piece these side hustles together. One side hustle, you could make maybe $100 or $200 a week from. The other side hustle, maybe an extra 50, 60 bucks a week. So don't count out these side hustles. And if you are interested in signing up for branded Survey Junkie, also Inbox Dollars, where you guys can get paid to play games, that is by far one of the easiest side hustles out there today. The link will be posted down below in the comment section. Now let's get into this video. So Yardy Matrix, and you guys have been asking about this one. They are looking to fill their winter 2024 rent survey. So it's going to begin Tuesday, January the 2nd, and they are taking not applications, but resumes. So this one, guys, you just have to send in your resume. So when Tan and myself worked for the company, it was formerly known as Pierce Ilson. It was founded in March of 2000 and acquired in July 2013 by Yardi. Now we didn't work for Yardi, but it is the same model. It says the Yardi Matrix Apartment Information Service is a high performance system with the sole function of supporting the commercial apartment industry's dominant participants. This is an easy one, guys, because all you are doing, they're going to give you a list of apartments. Pretty sure they will not be in your city or your state. You will call them. You will pretend to be a renter. So it's really like telephone mystery shop, but you're just calling apartments only. That is the only thing that you will have to do is call apartments. So you don't have to call anywhere else. This is their only model, calling apartment complexes, pretending to be renters, asking for rent specials, asking for how much is the rent, asking for things like, is it pet friendly? You know, if I bring a guest to my home or to my apartment, will they have a parking space? Where do my guests park? What is the square footage on this apartment? How far are you from the local grocery store, the local post office? Asking questions like that, getting the answers, jotting them down, and then turning in the form. So it says here, while we conduct surveys, our product 
product provides information on various dynamic aspects of apartment community operations, requiring that regular assessments be conducted. Now, the rent survey updates an apartment community's rent, the current rent specials, and several other factors subject to frequent change. The process requires calling apartment communities and asking various questions. Computer telephone need, high-speed internet access, and long-distance telephone services are required for this one. There is no selling involved, but apartment communities are called to ask them simple questions about their apartments, a process requiring good telephone etiquette and a pleasant demeanor. Now for this one, guys, you can use your cell phones. So don't worry if you don't have a landline phone, you don't need one but you will need a phone so you can use your cell phone. Surveys are conducted as a renter. Surveys must be conducted as a potential renter to ensure the accuracy of the information. This requires that you be willing to play the role of a renter. Now, the thing is with this one, some of the apartment complexes, since they have been calling on them for years, they're going to know. So you got to get you a script together. My script would always be, I'm not from your area. I live in Tennessee. I'm moving to your state because my sister moved out there. I found a job out there and now I will be coming out there. She does not have time to show me around with the apartments, this, that, and, and that because she purchased the house. She doesn't live in an apartment complex. So I need to know, I'm just calling around to get different prices. So when I come out there to visit, I will be able to come to your apartment complex and check out what you guys have. That would work with a lot of them because they're like, oh, well, you're new to the city and oh, you, you may need some help and you may want the info right so that would help with a lot of them so if you don't sound like you are from california or you're calling to new york and you don't sound like someone from new york they're gonna know they're gonna pick up on it and they're gonna ask you some questions so you want to be ready with a script and my script again I am moving there because either my job is moving there and then find a company, guys, that is there because they may at you. And sometimes if you don't have a readily answer, sometimes they may get a little rude and they may not want to answer the questions and you don't want that. So have you some type of script ready and available just in case you get that one leasing agent that is asking all types of questions because technically they know that your guys are going to be calling because of course the company has been in business what since 2000 so that's like over 20 years and they've been making these phone calls to the same apartment complexes so again make sure you have a script together survey timing the survey team members must have a minimum of 75 completed done surveys the first week and 100 completed done surveys each week thereafter and this is easy to obtain because guys you can break this down you can work whenever you want you can say, okay, 75, you can do 25 surveys a day for four days straight. And you can break that up. You may want to do four on Monday. I mean, 25 on Monday. You may work a total of maybe two to three hours just to get these 25 done. Then you may move over to the next day and then the next day and then the next day until you have completed the 75 within a week. And then the following week after that, they want you to complete 100. 100 completed done surveys each week thereafter with calls made between the hours. And keep that in mind because that is very important of 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. within surveyed time zones. And what they mean by that, ladies and gentlemen, if I live on the in the South and I'm calling to the apartment complexes on the West Coast, when I get up in the morning, they will not be open. So keep that time zone thing in mind because you're going to be in different time zones from where the apartments are located. So you got to be able to say, if you're waking up at 10 o'clock AM and you know that the West Coast is two hours behind, so they're, they're not open yet. So it's eight o'clock there. So you're going to have to wait to maybe... If they open at nine, some of them will open at nine and some will open at 10. So you're going to have to wait maybe an hour or two before the apartment complex even opens in order to start making the phone call. So that is very important. Whatever, um, I would say whatever coast you get, if it's the East Coast, the West Coast, if it's North or South and you are in a different time zone, make sure you guys are aware of that. 
It says a completed done survey is one of is one that has been marked done, meaning no further calls are needed. Survey surveys mark part done. Answering machine no answer or wrong number do not count towards fulfilling these requirements. Compensation surveyors will be paid six dollars per hour and a piece rate of five fifty. I'm going to say five dollars fifty cents for surveys mark done. Thirty cents for surveys mark wrong number. Twenty cents for surveys marked part done and seven cents for surveys marked answering machine or no answer. You will receive at least minimum wage in your jurisdiction for all hours worked. However, you can earn more depending on your speed and efficiency. So guys, if you got the speed and that is so true, you can earn more with this company. And it says here that the Yardy Matrix Rent Surveyor position is only available for current U.S. residents and also for citizens. So this one, guys, you will have to send your resume, their information to the person's information is posted over on their website. So this is Yardy Matrix. It's okay for you to have background noise if you have a dog barking. The more, I would say, the more sounds in the background, it sounds real to the person on the other end of the phone. Turn the TV up. If you don't have children or pets, make sure you have something in the background playing, a radio, some music, cut the TV on, put it on YouTube, click on a video, let the music play through the background because it has to sound real to the person on the other end of the phone. Because sometimes, again, you may run into that person that does not want to give you the information. So this is Yardy Matrix. Do some research about the company. There is no interview. No experience is required for this one. You would just send your resume. There is no applicant tracking system either. A person is actually going to look at your resume, but you will have to take and pass an assessment in order to be hired with this company. And there are some people here on this YouTube channel that work for or have worked for Yardy Matrix. Make sure you guys look under the video in the description box to get the link. And then you want to hop over to Facebook. You want to join us. Somebody in the group is going to win a laptop. It is Kiss That Cubicle. Goodbye. We are still doing random giveaways till the end of the year. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok. Somebody's going to win a laptop. I promise you guys, we are going to give away a laptop over on TikTok. Hop over there. Watch some of the videos that we have posted. I know we don't have a lot, but I'm going to make some more and share and leave us a comment over there. And then you want to follow us on Instagram, on the Facebook business page, and on X, which is formerly known as Twitter. All of them are under the same name, Two Chicks with the Side Hustle. My name is Carl, and I will catch you wonderful, lovely, amazing people on the next video. Bye!